Now it's fine. One night at Mr. Dracula's Creep is more than enough. But I'll show you a piece of that at the end of the video. Before I describe you almost the only reasonable spot in Romania, I will show you a video that I made for one school based there. Okay, let's talk about this place. The spot is situated almost in the center of Constanza, on one of the public beaches. If you type we go into the Google Maps, they're gonna take you straight there. The spot is divided by a stony pier and depends on the wind direction, you can have or flat on the side or a little bit more wavy on the other side of the pier. So if we talk about the wind, the usual directions of wind that kicks here in are from east to southwest. No thermic wind in here, what means that you have to grab every wind that this place gives you. The shore turns deep pretty fast here, but this is actually the advantage for the foil kiters. This shore is made with lots of muscles mixed with the sand. So you have to be a little bit careful with your gear setting it up. But the school has some special carpets with compressor to help you out setting up the gear. They are also equipped with a storage, rescue boat, beach boys, webcams, and they rent the gear, but only for advanced riders. The best time to come here is from May till October and actually that's the time when the school is opened. And you have an airport in Constanza, but if you have to fly from Bucharest, it's gonna be around three hours of driving with a car to here. The kite sizes for this place are usually from 12 till 15, but if you're lucky probably you're gonna find your time at 9 as well. In non-windy days, you can always go and rent subs here in the school and at night you can go and get wasted in one of the local bars. The Zoom is the closest one and they got a pretty nice club music. Unfortunately, the school doesn't provide the accommodation, but uh, definitely MrBooking.com will help you out with that. 
And for those who travel with campers, caravans or tents, I found a very nice camping place in Mamaya, about 20 minutes from the spot. This place looks like a jungle in a jungle, like a jungle of trees in the middle of a jungle of the hotels. It's pretty amazing and I'm quite sure that this place will vanish one day. There's also one school very close to the camping, like 10 minutes walking by beach. It's called H2O, but unfortunately when I was there it was closed. Okay, so in a walking distance 5 to 10 minutes from the camping, there's supposed to be somewhere here the next kite school, H2O. But as we can see, I think there's nothing right now. Maybe it's not a season, I don't know. But a couple of minutes away from this camping, I found the cable park, which unfortunately was also closed, but uh, there is an option for non-windy days. So that's how the kite arena in Romania looks like. I hope you found it useful. If you would like to support this project, click the link in the description called support. It's a crowdfunding page made for those who would like to see more and more of the reviews of different spots in Europe. Thank you guys for watching. The next target is Bulgaria and we're gonna come back there soon. But if you're not bored yet, I got some extras from my trip in Romania. Cheers! Doesn't look solid. Final destination. Okay, I want to show you something. This is just a regular parking on the way to Constanza, on a highway. Some flowers here. But here is a toilet. And look at that. Have you ever seen something like that in a toilet, in a public toilet, on a highway? And they are real. Come on. Romania! Damn it! Probably sometimes you're wondering how it is living in a, in a caravan. So it's like that. Sometimes you're on the bed, sometimes you're under the bed. And I'm right now under the bed because I got a flood a couple of days ago and this thing got broken over the winter. And I gotta fix that because I got no fresh water right now. Not that easy guys, but look at that. This is it. That's how it looks like when you not take off the water from the winter. But in Romania, I found the repair kit for this shit. Can you imagine that? Romania! The locals say that there's nothing special about this place. And I think a little bit different. Check this out. I deserve that today. This day was pretty tough and I'm gonna drink beer right now with with Dracula because I'm straight under his castle. I don't know if you're gonna see that but look at that that's my roof window and there it is Dracula's castle 